Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of migrating printers from a Windows Server 2008 R2 to Windows Server 2012 R2. Now if you're planning to migrate printers from a Windows Server 2003 to a newer version of Windows operating system, then you can use a tool called printmig.exe which is a free tool from Microsoft. And this tool is built in into the newer operating system starting from Windows Server 2008. So if you are planning to move printers from Server 2008 to a newer operating system, then you can use the built-in print migration tool. So before you start migrating the printers from a source server to a destination server, you need to ensure that the compatible printer drivers are available for the operating system running on your destination server. Now, upgrading a print server that is currently on server 2008 is much easier than if you are migrating from a server currently running server 2003. This is because of the lack of 64-bit driver support from most 2003 server setups. Again, before you start the migration, you also need to install all your 32-bit print drivers on your destination print server, which will be running 64-bit OS such as Windows Server 2008 R2 or later. Now these will be the print drivers which are currently installed on your 32-bit OS of your source print server. Also, you need to install all 64-bit print drivers on your destination print server which is running 64-bit OS if your source print server is a 32-bit OS. Now this is done by manually adding each of your 64-bit drivers before you can start the migration. So for example, if you have 200 printers on your 2003 print server, you would need to add the 64-bit driver of all those 200 printers to your new 2012 server before you can complete the migration successfully. And on the source print server, you need to ensure that all your print drivers are up to date and you need to see if you can use any universal print drivers if possible. And if Active Directory is used to publish your printers, then you need to publish them before you start migrating the printers. This is done to avoid the printers being published twice in Active Directory during migration. So. Once you have all these pre-checks completed, next you will start the migration again. You have to ensure that all these pre-checks are done before you start the print migration. So next you will be installing the print and uh, document services role on your new print server uh, which will be running 2012 or 2012 R2. And after that, you are going to use print migration tool, which can be used to export print queues, drivers, objects, and security settings from your source server, and it will export into a printed data file. You will then import the printed data file from the source server to the destination print server, and then you'll shut down or rename the old print server and assign the old print server name to the new print server to avoid any hostname duplication. And finally, you'll publish all printers back to Active Directory and then you'll test all the print queues to see if they're all okay. All right, now this demo is a very basic setup. I have a domain controller DC01 and two print servers. Print server 01, which is running Windows Server 2008 R2 and it has two network printers attached, Canon IR, 3030 and HP LaserJet 5200 L series PCL5 and I will be moving these printers to the new print server, print server 02 which is running Windows Server 2012 R2. Now both print servers are joined to the domain and I've done all the pre-checks with respect to print drivers which I mentioned in the previous slide. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to shut down the old print server 01 and I'll rename print server 02 as print server 01. Uh, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpublish my printers 
running on print 01. So I'm on print 01 and you can see I have these two network printers. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select them and I'll right click and I'll say remove from directory. All right, the operation completed successfully. Now I'm going to log into print server 02, which is my destination print server. And I'll open up server manager and I'll click on add roles and features. I'll click next. I'll click next again, next again. And then I'll select print and document services. And I'll click add features, next, next again, next. I have the print role service selected. I'll click next and I'll click install. All right, so it's going to install the print and document services role on my destination print server, which is print server 02. Okay, the installation has succeeded on print server 02. So I'm going to click on close. So, so far what we have done is uh, we have ensured all the pre-checks are done with respect to the drivers. And we have also unpublished the printers to ensure that they are not going to be published twice during migration. And we have installed the print and document services role on my destination print server. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to export the queues, the drivers, the print objects and security settings from my source server and I'm going to save it as a printed data file. So let me show you how it is done. So I'm back in my new print server, print server 02. So I'm going to open up tools and I'll open up print management and I'll right click on print management and I'll click migrate printers. All right, so you have two options to start with. So the first option is to export print queues and print drivers to a file. And the next option is to import print queues and print drivers from a file. So first we are going to export the print queues and print drivers to a file from our source print server, which is print 01. So I have this option selected, export printer queues and printer drivers to a file. So I'm going to click next and it's going to be a print server on the network and I'll type the server name which is print server 01 and I'll click next. Okay, so you can see the print queues uh, HP LaserJet and Canon IR 3030 and you can look at the print drivers which are available on that server and also the print processors and the printer ports. So everything looks to be okay and I'll click next and I'm going to save this printed data file on my desktop. So I'm going to say uh, print server 01 data file and I'm going to click save. I'll click next on this. All right, you can see that the operation is completed with no errors. So I'm going to click finish and if I come here onto the desktop, I can see my printed data file. Okay, so the next step is to import this printed data file and, and the way we do is, again, I'll right click on print management and I'll click migrate printers. Now this time I'm going to select import and I'll click next and I'll select the file and I'll click open, I'll click next. Okay, so it's saying that it's going to import the following objects to this server and it looks good so i'm going to click next and it says to which print server you want to import obviously to my new print server which is print server 02 and i'll click next now you have two options the import mode where you can select uh, to keep existing printers or overwrite existing printers i will leave it to the default selection which is keep existing printers and you have an option that says list in the directory. Uh, now I don't want to uh, list any printers uh, automatically to the active directory. So I'm going to select do not list any printers. And there's an option that says convert LPR ports to standard port monitors, which I don't want to do it at this point of time. So I'll click next and it's going to import the printers. Okay, so again the operation has completed with no errors, so I can click finish and if I go into all printers, so you can see them here, Canon IR3030, 
and HP LaserJet 5200. All right, the next step is to shut down or rename the old print server. So I'm going to click start, select shut down. Okay, the next thing is to assign the old print server name to the new print server. So I'm back in print server 02. So I'm going to go into local server and let me change the server name from print server 02 to print server 01 and I'm going to click OK. OK, it says that the computer object already exists. So I will click OK on this. Let me go back to my domain controller and let me open up Active Directory Users and Computers. And what I'll do is I will delete the old print server, which is print server 01. Click delete, click yes. We go back to print server 02. And let me rename this to print server 01. All right, it seems to be successful. And I'll click restart now. Okay, the next thing that we have to do is we have to publish all the printers back to Active Directory. So let me come back to print server 02. Let me log back in. Let me open up server manager. Let me click on tools and I'll go into print management and I'll click on all printers and I'll select my printers which I want to list in directory. I will right click on them. I'll click list in directory and you can see the operation has completed successfully. Now if you have any printers which are using type 2 drivers uh, they will not be imported because uh, server 2012 or later it doesn't support them. It only supports uh, type 3 and type 4 drivers. So these errors are expected just so you know. Now there are some post checks that you have to do. You have to check your event log messages about the migration to see if there are any warnings. And you have to manually check each printer on the destination server. And you need to verify the print queues are online. You have to check if your printer queues uh, special settings, permissions or printers have been preserved after migration. Now you also need to check if a driver installation has changed any non-standard configuration on your printers. You may need to do any necessary changes on your printer such as adding a port monitor or a new driver. All right, so this is how you migrate your printers from Windows Server 2008 R2 to Windows Server 2012 R2. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.